off a couple donations before we go to another ad break. Snowney donated another $20 and said another 20 for the man with the lovely voice that talked his way into 400K. Let's see if you can get us all the way to 500K. I have faith. We can get that and go beyond. Thank you. And $20 from Long Way Down 42 says, This is my second AGDQ live and third GDQ. It's one of my favorite times of year, and I'm loving all the runs so far. Thanks for the event, and good luck to all the runners. And that's going to do it for me. It's been an honor and a pleasure to host here for AGDQ 2018. My name is Hootie, and I'm going to pass it off to the next host during the ad break. Thank you so much, everyone donating and everyone that's watching. Take care. What is up, AGDQ 2018? It is your guy, your dude, E. Mister, A.K.A. Ethan, in the chair. Be with you for these next few NES games as we continue this NES block. While we're waiting for our next game, I'm going to read off a couple of donations here. We've got ten dollars from Cabs, who says, "So, are the games chosen for AGDQ the ones with the most potential?" Hmm, food for thought. That was lovely slash terrible. Thank you very much for that. We've got $50 from Edward Houghton. All those puns during Panic Restaurant really fried my brain, so take a 50 from, cancer, uh, take a, 50 from a cancer survivor for a good cause. Also a good cause, naming the boy in Evermore Brent because all the incarnations of his pet are good dogs. I was referencing the Secret of Evermore uh, naming incentive we have. You can check that out to see who's in the lead. We got $20 here from Binary Luke who says, Panic Restaurant totally cooks. I agree. Wow, we've got some hot competition going on in the Battletoads Toad Choice incentive. Uh, pimple. Still in the lead with the facial blemish with the most dollars donated toward it right now. But Zitz coming up behind pretty quickly with $700 to Pimples 819. So if you want to see Zitz instead of Pimples, 
as the uh, instead of pimple as the toe choice. Get that dollars those dollars in. Rash, kind of lagging behind with sixty dollars, but uh, you know we could get a rash if you donate a lot of money. Also take a moment to plug a couple of our sponsors here. AGDQ 2018 is proudly sponsored by Annapurna Interactive, publisher of What Remains of Edith Finch and Goro Goa. They've got more games coming soon in 2018, including Donut County, Ashen, and Wadham. And you can learn more about them at annapurnainteractive.com. As usual, we are also sponsored by the Yeti, providing fabulous t-shirts uh, for Games Done Quick events since 2012. You should definitely go check out the shirts they've got on offer over at the Yeti. That's Y-E-T-E-E dot -E -E com, or the Yeti dot com. All right, I'm getting word that our next run, Mitsume Ga Toru, by the one, the only Endy, is ready to go. I've got to remind everybody here that Endy is part of our Swedish delegation, representing for Sweden strongly. They were delayed by two days in a Frankfurt airport, but he is here to deliver this fabulous run. So I'm going to kick it over to him. Endy, whenever you are ready. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the end the hour of AGDQ. <laughs> we're going to play three games in a row, and we're starting off with Mitsumi Gatoro. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go right away. The timer starts when I press start on the title screen, so I will count it down in three... Oh, wait, before that. <laughs> on the couch here, we have Prissy and Cool Kid, two other runners of this game. Thank you very much for helping me out here, guys. Of course, of course. Okay. So let's go in three, two, one, go. Ooh. So we're starting off right away, killing that first guy, and then try to jump over the other guys without taking any hits. And the first two stages are, the, I would say the first stage is actually the worst in this game. Um, so I'm gonna try to focus a bit um, during the upcoming screens here. Um, there's an auto scholar coming up here, but I actually need to do stuff. Uh, I need to collect money to have enough money to buy an upgrade later on. So I'm gonna focus here. Yeah, you can shoot these coins and they get bigger and you get uh, more money out of it. It's quite neat. That's good. Okay. We, we got this. All right. So let's see here. Um, those jump shots, jump shots are actually pretty precise. Okay. Here's the interesting trip coming up. See if I get it. I hope I got it. It's a frame perfect despawn actually. Um, if if I have any luck here, I will have will have despawned most of the enemies in the upcoming screen here. No. Well, shame. But we got it still. I mean, it's okay. So now I have to take a couple of damage boosts to get through here. Uh, ah, that's bad. Okay. Well, uh, if I would have got the previous screen correct, uh, the previous frame perfect, I would have despawned all those enemies. But hopefully we'll pull through here anyway. Yeah, and this is why the first stage is so difficult, just because you'll be taking a lot of damage boost, so you'll be at very low health for most of it. Yeah. So nice. 
Luckily, the, the boss fight is not that uh, hard. Don't geek it now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Great. <laughs> Made it to shop. So here's going to pick up the uh, kind of arrow upgrade, which will make it so that his... You know, to power up his, I don't know, trident, spear. And he'll use that on pretty much every boss. Let's see if he gets the first boss You here. got this, man. Alright. Oh, nice. Whew. I was scared of that stage, honestly. I'm really happy I got through that because yeah. if you die, or I mean, it's a substantial time loss, and that's really precise that previous screen. Yeah, one of definitely one of the hardest stages in the game. So about the story in this game, I don't know really what to tell that much. I mean, you guys might want to say something about the story while I focus on these upcoming two screens here. <laughs> Wait, the story? Yeah, do you know it? Uh, the uh, <laughs> game is based off a manga, an anime, um, by the same name. Other than that, I, I, I don't know much, unfortunately. Do you know yeah. anything, Chrissy? I don't think I know anything of that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like the game. I really <laughs> hoped you would know because I don't. Uh, <laughs> okay, honestly though, in the <laughs> in the um, manga and anime, this guy is like the last of his kind. Uh, he has a third eye in his forehead, obviously. That's, that's the one I'm used to shoot. And well, it actually makes him evil when his third eye appears. He usually has some kind of bandage or plaster before it, but now another guy of his kind has somehow turned up, so we need to utilize our power here to stop him, obviously. So that's, I, I mean, we need to save the girl as well. That's, of that's important. You always save the girl. Yep, you do. Okay, uh, this screen runs on a global timer, so unless I... I mean, if I mess up something, it might turn bad, but as long as I do the intended route like that, it's fine. Yeah, that was really good. And there's a um, crucial skip coming up. Uh, we're gonna try to skip basically half this screen. Nice. nice. Awesome. Oh, oh, that's a big, 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 big time save. I'm really happy I got that. Uh, you have to. You have to do very precise movement to get that. Okay, I'm gonna try a quick kill here. Let's see if I get it. Oh, oh my wow. god, sick! <laughs> wow, that's like, that's the hardest quick kill in my opinion. It's really, really yeah, hard. That is definitely the hardest trick in the game. It's both the, um, the initial setup, the arrow placement, and the jump is. Okay, well, the start of this run has gone too good now. There's bound to be something bad happening soon. Uh, we'll see what happens here. First stage, I mean, the first two stages are actually among the hardest. Um, they should be, at least. Um, the first stage is pretty straightforward, actually. Um, so, this might be a good time for a donation, if you have any. I do have some. So I've got $5 from Anonymous who says, Hey guys and good luck, Andy. Thanks to all the HDQ team for an awesome event. Keep doing it great. Also, hello to my other friends here, Infested Reach and Cool Kid. Go, go Swedes. P.S. Can I bid these $5 against Superman 64? Just kidding. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a great game. Time for one more? Yeah, sure. All right, I've got $20 from Yakumo Fuji, who says, Trying to think of something funny, but I can't come up with anything. Hmm. Good to see the Swedes have arrived safely. Great cause, as always. Keep up the good work, all you guys behind the scenes. Oh, and this goes to Andy's choice. We can get that from you later. Yeah, sounds good. I have to think about that. Okay, that screen was actually, that's actually pretty hard, that screen. So I'm, uh, the main point you want to think about in this stage is do not take any unintentional damage because you're pretty low on, you're pretty low on health at the end, so... These spikes coming from the ceiling work. As long as I move correct, they should behave the same every time, but you never really know with this game sometimes. That should be good, I hope. Okay, good. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna try a platform manipulation on this screen, see if I get it. If I don't, it might actually mess up the cycle for me, but let's see if I get it. Delay, jump. 
get it. Up. Okay, let's see if that was good enough. I think that was good enough. No, it's oh, not. Uh, no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh. It's fine. We'll just chill a bit here. Jump over that guy. Don't get hit. Oof. Okay. Actually, gonna do something just because the run has gone so good this far. We're just gonna grab the health here to make sure it keeps on a good level. <laughs> yeah, because if he were to die, he would lose his arrow power up, and this boss fight would be a very slow boss fight. So it's important that he doesn't die. We got it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. So I didn't need the health there, but uh, as I said, if I only had one health left, then it's very easy to miss time my jump there. And if you do get hit by the rock and die, the boss fight is terrible. Okay, uh, well, this is the um, first part of this stage coming up here. It's an auto-scroller, which is not very fun, actually. apologize for that. But um, if you have some donations, feel free to read them while I do some... Swag nice strats. Swag strats. I'm <laughs> dancing here. Swagging on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I've got $10, speaking of yumps, from ah. Maddie C. Donate again to wish good luck to Andy on all his upcoming runs, and here's to perfect yumps. Perfect. I, you know, <laughs> I love the jumps, man. Like, <laughs> we need more jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Got $20 from Spooky. Keep, uh, keep up the good work, GDQ. Shoutouts to the retro community. You all are wonderful. Folks uh, watching probably can't see it, but we've got we've got some great attendance out in the audience today. Star-studded NES runners out there. I see you all. Yeah, shout out to everyone in the NES community. It's uh, it's an amazing community in general. The best I've ever been part of, actually. So let's keep it up. Keep up the good work, guys. <laughs> we love you, Andy. <laughs> love you too, cool kid. Everyone. I wish I would be as sweet. You guys are so popular, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you. I like, love you too, Prissy. All right. Okay, so that that stage was pretty slow in the first part, but now it gets. This is one of the more fluid screens in the game, and you need to move. Oh, okay. Let's hope I can. Oh, okay. Let's not. Let's just not talk here, okay? Ah, it's fine. Um, it's actually pretty common to take one hit in that screen because it's very hard to get the... Are you going to do it? Yep. Shout out to Prissy. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's Prissy's strat initially. Yes. This screen is very fun to play. Yeah. Like, this stage is just one of my favorite stages. Yeah. Some of you don't really notice is that... Oh, come oh. on. Stupid pen troll. Uh, if you stand on the ground and fire, you actually stop. So you want to make sure that you're jumping and firing these shots. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Not the game. But Andy is making it look so smooth by just yeah. making sure he's jump, uh, shooting once he's in mid air. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. If you stand and shoot, there's a terrible slow animation for shooting, and he lose all his momentum. So you have to make sure you always shoot in the air if possible. And yeah, those pen troll guys, I didn't mention those, but do you remember those, those, you know, <sighs> rubber things you put on top of the pencils with the pink hair? That's that's exactly like those guys. <laughs> okay, nice. So that was the. As you can see here, the bosses die very fast, and that's because I. Uh, I have I bought that arrow upgrade in the first stage, and that actually makes the arrow do damage even when it's stationary. So if I wouldn't have that upgrade, the arrow will just pass through them without making any damage. But. Uh, if you know how to place your arrow correctly, which is not very simple, but it's that boss is in particular is pretty easy, but there's some tricky placements coming up. Okay, final stage of the game is pretty long though, so let's see if I can... We're gonna make some manipulations here in the beginning. I need to jump there and then jump over that guy. That actually manipulates that bat, so he doesn't get in the way. So you, you wanted more jumps and yeah, there's gonna be a lot of, lots of jumping here. Oh, ow. Oh. I thought I got it. That's the impossible <laughs> screen. Yeah. You never, you always take a hit there unless you. I mean, it's impossible not to take a hit. Yeah, basically. 
Yeah, this stage is divided into three different parts, uh, with each part ending with a sort of mini boss. Um, so here we got some uh, yellow devil blocks. I want to make sure you don't get pushed up on the spike ceiling because that is an instant death. The, 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 I don't want to call it, I don't know, hitbox or the standing box or whatever you want to call it on those yellow blocks are really weird, honestly. Okay, let's shave our head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, fine. Oh, we're, we're bold. Okay. Uh, either way, uh, it's, I mean, actually, I managed to die. I, I ran this game at um, the ESA marathon, and I actually managed to die in one of these screens, so I'm going to try not to replicate that. And let's see here. Nice. That, that is more scary than it looks, actually, because if you move one pixel, just one pixel too far to the right, you kind of get teleported up on the block. You, like, sip up on it, and... Yeah, you hit the ceiling, basically, and then you die. So you get a little more head shave than you bargained for. Well, let's see if we can do the last screen here. Oh, my, my. Okay, first minibus time. You want to place yourself and the arrow very precise to... to So you want to place the arrow right at the turning spot uh, to maximize uh, the output damage. Yeah, the cool thing about this section is it um, doesn't matter how much uh, health you have at the end, uh, you, you always get the refill. Yeah, exactly. If something goes wrong, it's not that bad because the, every min boss does give you a refill. Okay, this is a very crucial trick here. Let's see if we get it. Oof. All right, nice. <laughs> if you if you miss that, you have to wait an entire elevator cycle, and it costs like 30 seconds. So I'm really happy I got that. Upcoming screens are also ridiculously annoying, so let's see if I can. That was good. Nice. Oh, good job, man. That's always the scary part. Yeah, actually. that spider is actually, that hitbox is kind of finicky. Yeah. This time it's green. Watch out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we got him this time, too. Yeah. The mini bosses actually get more difficult. Like, the, there's a laser that mm -hmm. kind of enters the room, but the bosses, they die so fast, so you don't, you don't even see it. Down. No, not there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, oh. stupid snake. <laughs> Fudge in the fridge. Come on. Okay, well, we got him. Uh oh, that's, that shot's gonna get back here. If you fire a shot, it actually messes up with those snakes' uh, proximity thing, so usually you can just walk under them, but if you accidentally fire or fire one extra shot like I did there, oof, scary. I just walked straight into him because I expected him to jump, but it's fine. Okay, we got... There's a shop up there. If I would have messed up, I would have taken it, but I haven't messed up that bad, so... We're just gonna continue on to the third minibus section. It's basically the same as the other ones, but he has a faster laser from behind. But since we do the quick kill, which I don't think was intended by the developers, the laser doesn't even reach us. Alright, this is going still pretty good actually. And we had the final two boss fights coming up, and we can gain, uh, not gain, I mean, if we do it good, we can get a really good time here, I think. Um, the last, the final phase of the last boss is RNG dependent. He can either, he can either stand still on spot and shoot at me, or he can jump. And if he jumps, we're losing like 30 seconds, unfortunately. So yes, I want to see some blessed RNG in the chat for that one. That would be real helpful. Come on, chat. We need you right now. We need you. Okay, first of all, we need to get the quick kill of this guy. We need to focus here. Ah, 
Easy piece. Nice. Easy. Easy. Alright, here okay, we now, go. The bless RNG, right. guys. Come on. Please don't jump. Come on. Please don't please. jump. Please. No! no! Oh, you. Come on back. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. no. Oh, no. He jumped again. Ah, oh, stupid guy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see if we can mash him down here. Nice. nice. All right. That was a good backup. Uh, I'm, um, time is coming up pretty soon, I will tell. Time. <laughs> wow. Oh! That's a really good time. That's, that's a really good marathon time. I'm really happy with that, actually. Yeah, the world record is uh, by Andy, of course, uh, 16.59. So yeah, it's within a minute. Not bad, not bad. Okay, well, thank you so much, guys. Now, I'm gonna prepare for the upcoming game, Batman against Dexter, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for the support and donating, everyone. Let's hear it one more time for Andy, you guys. Here we go.